for the lead to turn one between Lasaski and Steve Kenter. Lasaski on the outside. Kenter, the number 11, with a green win. Boy, and Steve Kenter got a start and just went right up and shut the door on Lasaski. Danny with no place to go. There he goes to the bottom, though, trying to get back. And classic Lasaski stands down on the bottom, at least through three and four. And there he goes by, but no, oh, Steve. Whoa. I'll tell you what, that was a, that's a gutsy move for Steve Kinzer. I mean, he, as you said earlier, he's all but got the championship locked up, but he still has to have that in the back of his mind. And that was a bold move to try to take the lead back from the outside. There wasn't much room out there. No, there wasn't. He may have the championship in the sack, but he'd like to pad that $324,000 in prize money he's already got. Did you know that was a good shot of, of the draft that you actually get him out of the sprint car because coming off the corner, you saw Steve at the end of the straight and shoot up onto the back of the set, Daniel Lasowski. How about that, Lasowski, huh? He came to play. Oh, what a show these two are putting on. I guarantee Ralph Shaheen, Tony Stewart. It's rumored that Tony Stewart and the dudes will team up next year with an outlaw car. It's more than a rumor, I think. They're going oh. nuts at some motor owner bar. Oh, kids are just break. Steve Kins. I saw it. Now Mark. they're really going nuts. Mark about ran over the back of him. But Mark Kenzer is there to pick up the pieces. If one Kenzer doesn't get you, another one might. Look at Steve, the frustration. Yeah, the to try to fix what they can. But, uh, boy, I don't know. I don't give well, it's just a great shot of how that quick change works. For any size racetrack, you can change the gearing that simple for a quarter mile up to a half mile. Already. And, again, they usually get faster and faster as the race goes on. But that's that tire battle we talked about. Mark Kinzer on the good years. Lasowski on Hoosiers. Mark with a Mopar. Lasowski with an aluminum version of a small block Chevrolet. Saldana running third. Good run for him. He's also in Hoosiers. Oh! Well, the nice. 50, oh. Johnny Schatz upside down gets tagged by the 28 car. And you know what? I don't think Schatz's car was hurt too bad until he got until he got hit there by Brian Paulson. Yeah. You can see the shield from fogging up. 21 laps remain. Out front, Danny Lasaski, Chevrolet powered. Boy, and before this red, Mark Kinzer looked like he was uh, catching him and pretty fast. Danny on the bottom there is getting away from him, Steve. But you, but Sammy turned it to try to get back under him, and there he does, going into turn one. Oh, and the pass for the lead. Mark yep. Kinzer has passed uh, Lasowski. Oh, he's going to slide up. Lasowski's going to get right back by out of turn. Whoa, baby. The two okay. fans are going nuts. What happened there, Steve, was that Mark Kinzer passed him down the back straight. we got to run. Danny, who had been running the top the whole time, passed him back on the bottom, but then went to the middle, to the bottom, down in one and two, instead of going that far, long way around the top on the cushion. Chris, the family, looking on. Oh, man, Whoa. look at all the lap cars. Oh. Danny, be careful. Hognet pissed him a little bit there, but did see, see him and, and moved that boy. This is there. You can see Mark Kinzer right there to the left of your screen. Lurking. He's got his wing pulled back. He's, the car has gotten looser. He's pulled that wing back. But right now, Danny's got this thing in hand if he can just stay out of trouble. Danny right now redefines the old saying, elbows up. Oh, and boy, he just rooted right in there. Very aggressive. And white flags out. But that's what he had to do. He couldn't take a chance there with Tim Schaefer. I'm leaving this race. You've got to move for me. He stuck the right rope there, and Schaefer did get out of his way. Boy, he won the Gold Cup last weekend in Chico, California for the first ever time. And on a little racetrack, Danny himself, the tight user, doesn't do very well. And he wins, turns around, and wins on a big half mile. There it is, the checkered flag for Danny the Dude Lasowski. Six wins in a row for Hoosier Tires. Man, they've got to be pumped up. It looks like they're going to win the championship. They're leading. Well, I'm with the dude. First, I want to shake that hand. That was a fine drive. Now, let me ask you, you were on a softer tire. Were you concerned with all that tra traffic of having to abuse it? Well, we, we talked about it, and um, if I kept the car nice and straight, it would be fine. So it was a gamble we took when you started on the front row that if I kept the car straight, we could keep it under. So I've seen it run better with softer tires. Were you concerned with that red that uh, Mark Kinzer, Carl Kinzer, his crew chief, would be able to improve his car? Well, you know, the percentages are with Carl Kinzer. Every time there's a red, he, he definitely makes uh, improvements. But I'll tell you what, Dennis Ross put a great team together here. and uh, These V-Packer guys never gave up. The Hoosier tires, uh, Bob Westfall Bill's like a new engine, and those new super purple shocks, uh, they seem to tune this thing to the ground. You know, we've been trying a bunch of stuff, um, and we just we couldn't be any happier. I think this is the second or third 20 grand to win a race. We won. We won a couple in California and uh, my car in our home state. Hey, we couldn't do it out with all these guys, and we just appreciate it a lot. Well, three straight 20 grand races. He's smiling. Bobby Gerald? Mark Kinzer, uh, 11 feature wins this year, but tonight second place is going to have to do. You tried, though. You tried awful hard. How tough was the dude tonight? He was real tough. Uh, we, we, we got a, got around him a couple of times, and uh, I tried to take his line, and, and I'd miss my line, and, and he would get back around me. So uh, 
Uh, you know, he was p setting a pretty good pace, and we could keep pace with him, and he's doing a real good job of lap traffic. There at one time, I think he passed four cars in one straightaway, and, and I had to pick him off one at a time to reel him back in. But, uh, you know, the Mopar team done a real good job. Ray Williams, Phil Durst, all the guys that's helped me all year long. Thanks a lot.